Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. In the last episode, we took on the Ice Temple, um, made our way back to the Four Sword Sanctuary, which you can kind of see in between these two levels right there. It's that little band of forest right there. Um, placed the, the four royal jewels under the pedestal and the, the maidens prayed and uh, the Tower of Winds was revealed. So, now we will be heading into the Tower of Winds and rescuing Princess Zelda, so let's get started! Yeah. Alright. I actually kind of like this level because it's a whole lot different than all the other levels. And this is why. So, rather than like all the other- like all of the other levels were all um, horizontal levels, this one... Um, the entire dungeon is vertical, which makes sense because it's a tower. So we're going to be climbing up, up the tower. Alright, there's not much to see or do here in the first room, so let's move on. Although for some reason they're choosing blobs to be the, um, the enemy of choice. So the only horizontal areas you'll have are, um, these here. Um, in this area. Um, well, the only, well, I say horizontal. The only top down areas are uh, on the Game Boy Advance screen. Um, let's see. I think we need to go over here now. Okay. I don't want to lose that key. Oh gosh. Whoops. Oh gosh. That was dumb. There we go. 100 force gems. Is there any more over here? No? Okay. Alright. Let's take the key with us. We don't have an item. So oh, look. The key door is right here. Alright. As soon as we get everybody on here. Oh, shoot. I don't have an item, so I can't do anything here. So let's just take it back across. And, whoa. <laughs> the links were doing something real weird there. Okay. Um, down here? No, that's where I came from. Okay. Up here. Takes me over there. I don't have the rock's feather, so I can't really do anything. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to go through here, then. Yep, <laughs> there's the slingshot. I'm pretty sure we saw it earlier too. So let's take that and go back to the the room with the platform. Which I figure the easiest way might be to go... Well, the only way is probably to go this way. Down here. Oh, okay. I'm actually gonna line up before I step onto the platform because it wasn't letting me line up while I was on the platform. So, and then let's get on the platform. There we go. Let's actually stay on the platform. It's not even letting me um, get out of formation. I can't go into formation. I can't get out of formation when I'm there. Alright. So, oh dear. So we're gonna have to remember to go back there to, when we get the rock's feather. Um, there's gotta be a specific order to push those blocks. Oh, I need the fire rod to move on there. Um, or maybe we just push the blocks, cause the, right now there's nothing really else we can do. Oh, we gotta figure out which direction and push it in. Okay. Probably up. Down. And this way. To the right. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, I get it. Um... There is a similar puzzle, I believe, in actually Four Swords. Um, because this is a Game Boy Advance screen, I believe the other links are not able to see uh, the colors. At least that's the way it is in Four Swords. I totally missed. Okay. 
I need to, I'll just pick up fire because he's right there. And it would help if I didn't fall. Okay, this is not going to be easy. Well, of course, it's one of the last levels in the game. There we go. Um, okay. There we go. Oh, we got the rock's feather. All right, now we can go back. Right, yeah, because there's nothing to do up there, so we have to go back. All right, down we go. And across, actually, I'm gonna check out what's in here first. It's a treasure chest with 104 gems in it. And so now let's get up here and get the fire rod. And we're still technically in frozen high. Oh gosh. Well, we're still technically in frozen high roll, so um, that's why you can see their breath. They're fogging up as they're running around here on this screen. All right. Um, up the stairs. Oh, the platform was blue now. Did you see that? Not that. Not that they, we would need to use it now, but interesting. Oh, and the blocks fall. Okay, that that makes sense. There we go. Okay, so what's down here? Stairs going up. That'll take me up here. Oh, cool. I can see the force. There we go. Okay, what's over here? The door. With another rock's feather. Do I need the... I don't need the fire rod anymore. Let's pick up the, <laughs> the thing before the anti-fairy gets me. Alright. Now that we got the rock's feather, we can hop over here. But there was a thing I missed over here, I believe. No? Wait. Oh, no, it was down. Yeah, there was a door right here. Oh, this, this looks like a trap. Well, it's not that big of a deal. At least we get, like, a couple hundred force gems out of it. Okay, and up here... Come on. Alright. Couple hundred force gems, 400 force gems to be exact, I guess. Um, up we go. Back, and then let's go over here now. Another rock's feather. Oh, and we got switches. Ooh, that opens the way forward, but let's go over here first. What do we got? Stairs down and, and another rock's feather. Um, a blue bracelet. That'll help. Okay. That's all that we got here. So let's go across. Up here in the chest, we got a heart container. That's good. And on we go. Whoa, that was close. Ooh, strike cracked blocks forcefully from above to smash them to bits. Everyone knows that. I didn't know that. No one ever told me that and now it's too late. I must leave some kind of record of my mishap before it happens to someone else. Why did I write out? Ooh. I guess there's no way that um, they can uh, have ghostly spirits in vertical zones, I guess. Okay. This, and then... Oh. There we go. They were getting in my way. There we go. Okay. Oh, Force Fairy! Okay. Um, oh, another blue bracelet. Yeah, you can actually... I guess you can't have... That would be, like... If you're playing multiplayer, that would be a useful thing to have. Because then somebody else could have a blue bracelet. The only bracelets you can have two of, I guess, are... Um, the power bracelet and then the blue bracelet. 
Alright. Um. I'm gonna go through this door first. Before. Oh, can't do anything here. Because we don't have a key. Okay. Actually. Oh, gosh. Actually, hold on. Let me get this. The force gem there. Okay. Stand on that switch. Okay. Oh gosh, that was close. Okay. Um, get the key. Um, let's go back to bio. Oh gosh, that was close. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. Alright. Wow, it actually did the box this time, and I think I had accidentally tilted a little bit to the left. Anyway. Um, cross. There you go. Oh, that opens the way forward. Or upward, I should say. Because we're going up the tower. Alright. Oh. Oh, this is kind of... I did not press down. Okay. This controller is a little janky. Oh gosh. Get... Okay. Wee. Okay. <laughs> and make the slow climb back up because we're on a thwomp. And oh, whoops! There we go. We got some ice, falling ice. Yeah, you're gonna want to be careful because that can hurt you, and it looks like it does respawn. Okay. Alright. So this is actually useful here because it, the ice will cover up the spikes. So you don't have to take damage from that. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. That's a nice big icy frog up there. Okay, what do we got? More of these guys. There we go. Okay. Oh, that one was an actual force gem, and we got 2,000 force gems. Alright. Powered up force sword, here we go. How many hits or I can just instantly destroy you? Okay. What do we got? Oh, fire rod. Okay. No more need for the rock's feather, as far as I know. At least for right now. Okay. Up here. What do we got? More falling icicles. And then we gotta melt the frog. And make our way onward. Onward and upward. There we go. Ooh. Okay, we got another separating puzzle. I don't know if you can act I don't know if you can actually put down the links if you're carrying them or if you have to throw them, so it's probably not a good idea to try. Because it'll just waste time. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, rock's feathers again. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need the rock's feather. Do we need the... not in this room, so let's get the rock's feather again. Alright. Onward and upward. Um, okay, let's... I don't even remember what door we came through. Actually, it's probably, um, probably this door. So let's go through this one. Yep. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, bats. 
Keys are everywhere. Oh gosh. Okay, get up there. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh! They made me drop a hundred force gems. No thank you. Okay. Can I have- no I can't. Alright. Uh, five force gems doesn't really matter in the long run anyway, because I already have the powered up four sword. Just got, oh gosh. Just gotta kind of leapfrog our way. Ooh, that was close. Come on! How am I supposed to get over there? I jumped! I pressed it. I can't come over here with another weapon. It has to be the rock's feather. How am I supposed to get over there? There has to- I- there is nothing else I can do. I have to get over there because I can't- Am I gonna die here? Die because I keep falling into pits? That is the dumbest death ever! Oh my gosh. Oh, come on! Um, there's nothing else I can really do here. I have to get across that stupid... <sighs> get ready for death number six! It'll have to be another Game Boy Advance screen, because I can't get across this stupid gap. This is just dumb. Are you kidding me? I... Do I have to throw him? Can I actually throw... No, I can't. I don't understand. I do not understand. Okay, I'm gonna cut and figure out what how to do this stupid thing. This is so ridiculous. There's death number six. I do not understand this. The, the walkthrough doesn't have any help whatsoever. I have no idea. And why was Vio all the way over there? I pressed the button! Oh my gosh! Said something about a box formation, but. We can't use it. I. I don't understand. Get onto the platforms! This is so. D Where did it. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, stop it. Okay. Okay. Hold on, maybe I was looking at the wrong part of the walkthrough. Hold on. Okay, there are no switches on the... Something about making Stalfos appear? I don't understand. I am going insane doing this over and over again! I don't understand! <sighs> I'm going to look up a video walkthrough since this walkthrough is just dumb. Be right back. It's exactly what I thought it was. Press the freaking button! Uh, how am I not making that gap? I am going to lose my mind. Oh my gosh. Finally made it across the gap. Holy crap. Oh. They provide a way for me to get back across. Easily. 
That was so dumb. I have not raged at any point in time during this Let's Play. This is the first time. You've got to be kidding me. How come I could not make that jump? It is so dumb. Oh. Oh shoot, okay. So it's a specific set of switches you have to hit. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try this again. That was the right set. All right, a heart container and a hundred horse gems. Up we go. Okay, we are getting close to the end of this uh, this level. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh gosh. Zola is falling from the sky. Come here. Are you gonna come down? Or am I gonna downstab on your face and it didn't even work? Whoa. Oh gosh. I'm probably gonna miss like half of those force gems. Let's at least go for the hundred. Or not. Oh gosh, am I even gonna make it to the hundred? Nope. Alright then. Just like I like this episode. This episode could have been long over by now if that stupid jump hadn't gotten my way. <sighs> Alright, is there anything in here? Probably here, no. Just pots. Alright then. What's up here? More pots. Are there any switches in here at all? No? I'm just wasting these pots if I need, um... If I need, like... Hearts and such, like if there's more... Is there seriously nothing useful in here at all? I need a fire rod to get across, get to the, melt the ice block so I can get in there. There we go. <sighs> oh, come on. I don't even have a counter of how many times I've done that. That's probably like the fourth time I've done that, I think. Third or fourth. Um, oh. Okay, there we go. Let's just melt it on the other side too for ease of access. Alright. There we go. And the way forward. Okay. Up we go. Alright, here we are. This is the boss. I believe this guy's name is Frostair or something like that. Like, like Cold Stare or whatever from, uh, from a link to the from a link to the past, which was also an ice themed dungeon, the ice palace. Um, let's see. Oh gosh. Okay, so there's something else I'm supposed to be doing in this battle. Um, cause he he'll just keep spawning more. Okay, let's go through this door and see what we got. More- oh, rock's feathers. Okay. Um... Just all the rock's feathers. Okay. Cause we'll need that for this boss fight. Um... We'll also need it to get over there, too. Oh, we gotta get it in here. What do these do? Oh, make platforms for us. Thanks. Okay. Um... Oh gosh, oh gosh. Can I have those hearts, please? Oh, okay, let's go through here. What do we got? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go through the last door before we go take care of that thing. Um, 
probably just pots with hearts in it that I probably should leave alone. Okay, I'll leave the other pots alone. Okay. Okay, so this is the root of uh, frost air. You attack it, and it looks like it drops force gems. But it will also drop out of the wall. I don't think there's anything, but you can see it's getting up down there. We got 200 force gems. That's now flying around. With all the little frost guys. Okay, holy crud. I just went right into the f <laughs> into the fire with that one. Okay. Oh gosh, I got frozen in midair. Okay. 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 So this is, as far as I know, this is how you're supposed to fight this guy. Just kind of, cause like, his eyeball, like, despite previous Zelda mechanics, the eyeball is actually not the weakness here. And I didn't want to fall down here. Cause now I gotta get back up and he's gonna fly back up where I can't reach him. Come on, get down here. Please get down here. Please get down here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I can't even hit him. Oh my gosh. And now he's going back up. I can't even get to him. Get down here. There we go. Um, do we actually have to downward st Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally. Alright, that is the end of Frost Air. 304 gems, 100, 100, 100, and a whole bunch more. Okay. Now we can finally make our way to Zelda. Well, we gotta step into the beam of light first. Alright. Oh, I don't need to be in formation, thank you. Link? It is you, isn't it, Link? I believed you would come to my rescue, and here you are. I knew you would wield the Force Sword and come. Thanks to your efforts, the darkness above ground is thinning. The Maidens and I will pray to keep the darkness from recovering its full strength. However, the realm of, he of the heavens is now overflowing with Vati's monsters. The darkness in the realm of the heavens must be purged if, it's true, pe if true peace is to return. And with that, we have rescued Princess Zelda and all the maidens. Let's move onward. And we are now at the top of the Tower of Winds. It's kind of cool how you can see a lot of Hyrule from here. <laughs> Which is exactly what you would say at the top of Hyrule, uh, at the top of a tower. All right. So now we will be moving on to the tower, the, to the realm of the heavens. This is, well, I'll just say, it. this is the last level in the game. So, we are very, very close to the end of the game here. And at the end, um, at the Palace of Winds there, we will be finally taking on Vati. So, if you guys like this episode, please leave it a like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!